Hello everybody, today I'm here to do a book review and the book I will be talking about is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. So it's no secret that I love Morgan Matson books. I devour them up and they're amazing and I love them so as soon as I heard about this one I literally could not wait. So before I'm going to talk about the book I'm going to show you about the cover because it's gorgeous. So look at that, we have an ice cream truck and dog walking and on the back we have more dogs and even with this book which have been the latest with her last two books. They have like a little poster on the inside flap. So main character with a dog, which is just adorable. And you have a bright yellow sunny dust jacket. Love the detail on this cover. It's just a beautiful cover. So on to what this book is about. This is your quintessential summer book. Literally, it takes place in the summer. It's about this girl named Andy who is a politician's daughter. Her dad is a congressman who works really hard and he has a lot of like campaigns and true familiar politics. It's, it's hard work. So she's always been the good girl. She's always had to be very careful about social media and she has her summer all mapped out. She has this great internship or job, I forget, at John Hopkins and everything's gonna go amazing and then it kind of falls apart at the last minute. I don't know what to do pretty much for the rest of her summer so it's becoming unexpected. She has to learn how to embrace life and just not having any plans because Andy is very planned and then she meets a guy and then suddenly she's a dog walker and just in craziness ensues. That's pretty much what it is in a nutshell. Overall, I really like this book. I thought it was a great summer fun read with a little bit of depth but overall amazing. As far as comparing this to her other books, I will tell you the order of my favorite Morgan Maxson book to my least favorite if there is such a thing because literally I love all of her books. My favorite will always be Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour. That's just my all-time favorite. Right behind it would be Since You've Been Gone and then right behind that would be The Unexpected Everything with the last one being A Second Chance Summer. Now I love all of these books. I think Second Chance Summer is just, it hits on my emotional heartstrings a lot so I don't like to think about it too often because it was so sad because it's very personal to me in the storyline but overall I just I love all of her books I just think they're amazing. If I can give it a rating if I'm getting real technical I would give it a 4.75 out of 5. I'll go in detail more later about that where it's not a full 5 out of 5 but Overall, I loved it. I thought the friendships were amazing, the romance was amazing, the character development was spot on. It was just a hilarious, funny, little bit of depth, full of dogs, amazing book. I'm going to talk about this spoiler free pretty much for the most part because I don't want to ruin everything. I want this to be a spoiler free review for you. One qualm I have about this book is that it took me a little bit to get into. It took me about 50 pages to really fall invested in the story. I felt kind of, it was, I felt like I was lagging at first kind of. I felt it took a little bit to get off but when it eventually like a plane did take off it was amazing so that's why I gave it a 4.75 out of 5 because I just thought it took a little bit more time to get into but overall I like I said I really enjoyed it I just feel like it was a little bit um kind of slow at the start but there were so many amazing things about this first I want to talk about Andy's relationship with her dad in the very beginning her dad's a politician her mom is not around Andy's mom had died five years ago I don't think that's spoiling anything I'm not sure it's not like a huge huge like um, mystery of the book or anything but so far it's just been Andy and her dad for these past five years and he really hasn't been involved you know he's been a politician he's been having you know like pretty much a nanny raise her she's been raising herself so when this huge scandal hits of her with her dad and he can't really work anymore he is starting to be more invested in her life and starting to like you know trying to be a father figure and she's not used to that because he's she's been on her own pretty much for five years and she's like who is this guy coming in to say he's my father I haven't had a father in five years you know so it was very rocky at first but watching Watching them actually get closer and developing a great friendship, a great father and daughter relationship, it was just magical. I loved it so much how he was just not the person that you thought he was. You thought he was really rigid, professional, and really didn't have time for anybody, even his daughter. And you learn so many amazing things about him and the way his and Andy's relationship progressed was just, it was beautiful. And I loved reading about it. I thought it was just amazing. They would have dinner once a week and how they would talk about things and it was just, I just can't get over that. I love of the family relationship in this book because sometimes in contemporaries it's like the families don't exist it just pretty much follows two people falling in love and there's like no family but lately I've been reading a lot of great contemporary where the family's involved and I love reading about that because family is such a huge part of your life as it should be so I loved reading about them next I want to talk about Clark a man squeeze in this book and oh Clark was just so cute how we figured out that he is a fantasy author and he's been like a published author since he was like 14. I mean that's that that's amazing. I just thought that was amazing. And I loved even how Morgan Matson put snippets of his books in it. I was like, I'm gonna read this story now. Like, Morgan, I think you gotta make a, another book just of his two books. I mean, 
You gotta do it, right? I loved having that in there. I thought that was a great little thing to put in there. I loved Clark. I thought he was great. He loved how they really helped each other. Clark, you know, helped Andy kind of open up, not be so rigid with relationships and not be so, you know, only three weeks and I'm done with this relationship. Really like, you know, embrace like talking about her feelings and everything. And she helps Clark with, you know, inspiration and just, you know, being there for him and introducing him to her friends. And it was just such a really cute summary romance that I just cannot get enough of. Like romances like that, I just, I can read them all day, every day for the rest of my life. And the next thing I talk about is the friendships in this book. Oh my goodness, the friendships were so amazing. So we have like these core four of girls. So we have Andy, we have Brie, Toby, and Palmer, and they're just all so amazing. They're like sisters from another mister. They're so amazing. I loved even Tom, Palmer's boyfriend, how he was kind of in the circle, and it was just really, really adorable. The friendships were just amazing, how they really cared for one each other. They would ask, you know, how was your date? How'd you do this? How'd you talk about that? I think that's a really great friendship. Emojis. I just want to talk about the emojis. Throughout this whole book, there's like text in it. There's a lot of emojis because of a certain bet or something, and I loved it. I am a person that does not use emojis too much, but understands the very importantness of them in this society. Like, it, emojis are taken over every day. I'm just, I'm an old school girl. I literally type out, like, parentheses with the two dots for a smiley face. Yeah. I do that sometimes. I use emojis occasionally, but not nearly as enough as some of my friends do. They use emojis all the time. And I like that. I'm just not that type of person, but I loved reading about, I thought it was a very funny, quirky thing part of the book. I thought it was great. And then Andy gets a summer job sporadically and she ends up being a dog walker and she's really never dealt with dogs in her life. She's like, what is this? I don't know how to do this. And she ends up falling in love with it and you meet all these dogs and it was just amazing. I love dogs. It made me so happy to read about because I had to um, we had to let our dog go uh, three months ago and it's still a very big it's very it's very still a very open hole in my heart honestly and just you know seeing reading about dogs makes me happy but it fills me with a lot of sadness if that makes sense because I miss my dog oh I just lose my oh. Okay, but um, I just loved reading about that. I thought that was very cute and how the end, it was just a oh, birdie. Oh, it was so cute. I just love that. I'm just so happy that she took that job because I thought it was like the best job ever. I would love to be a dog walker. That would be amazing. And now I know there's a ton of Easter eggs in this book. A lot of people said, but I mean, I wasn't paying attention. I think I might just go back and look at it to find these Easter eggs, but I do know they're in there. So if you're curious about it, they're in there somewhere as well nowhere. If you're looking for a great summer read, look no further. I literally picked this up today because it is a fun filled friendship, romance, family. It has everything in there for you. I mean, you've got emojis, you've got dogs, you've got great father-daughter relationship, you've got great love interest, you've got friendships, you've got dogs. What more do you need? Literally, what more do you need? I, mean, I love Morgan Matson. I think she's a phenomenal author and I just can't get enough of her work. And now I'll be waiting for her next book. Whatever it comes out, I don't know, but I already need it. I know what it's about. I already want it and I already need it and I need it in my life. If you read this book, please let me know what you thought of it and let's talk about it in the comments. And if you know any other summer contemporary romance coming out this summer, please let me know because I don't know of any right now. And I need, I need summer contemporaries because I live for summer contemporaries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.